I'm uh, John Razuski, Assistant Chief Engineer for Small Block. I'd like to talk about the LS3 for the Corvette Grand Sport. This right here is the, uh, the base LS3 introduced in the Corvette in 2008. And we've made a few modifications of this engine, uh, specifically for the Grand Sport manual transmission to enhance the performance capability of the uh, vehicle and the engine. And the big change we've made is the addition of a dry sump system. This tank right here is the dry sump tank. It's a 10 and a half quart capacity tank. And it's really, um, it's the same tank that's also used on the Z06 and the ZR1, uh, reused on this application. The uh, main function of the dry sump tank is to contain oil and condition the oil so that oil being fed into the engine um, does not have air, does not have PCV gases and uh, can be effectively used by the uh, loop system to uh, maintain the performance of the engine. This is uh, the oil pan, which is unique for the dry sump LS3. And uh, the oil pan uh, has a uh, couple stage pump that attaches onto the oil pan, and this is it right here. There is a, uh, a one stage for suction, which sucks air and oil out of the oil pan and another stage is for high pressure uh, oil which pulls the oil from the dry sump so the path of oil from the oil pan is from the suction tube which is located right here as the uh, vehicle goes through the uh, extensive dynamics back and forth there's potential for air to be entrained in the oil as the pickup tube gets uh, exposed to air well, this air oil mixture will be pulled up from the pickup tube along this cast in passage and it would then uh, migrate into the uh, suction side of the oil pump. The oil pump will then pump that air oil mixture back through a passage in the casting through some lines into the bottom of the dry sump tank. From there the air oil mixture uh, routes through a tube in the center of the tank and comes up to the top of this tank where the air oil mixture is then exposed to a uh, tangential uh, separator that runs along the uh, entire cylinder and the uh, purpose here is to let the air oil uh, migrate downward into the liquid section of the oil. The air will separate, the, uh, the oil will cool and the oil will eventually make its way down to the lower portion of the tank. Uh, so now you have a head of conditioned, filtered, or not filtered, conditioned oil that gets pulled from the other port back into the pump and the pump then pumps this conditioned oil through the oil cooler, through the filter, and back into the engine. So with this dry sump system you now have uh, oil that's at a higher pressure, it's of a much higher quality, uh, the vehicle is able to um, perform the vehicle maneuvers that are much more aggressive and uh, the engine is able to, um, to be very durable with that, with that uh, conditioned oil. So all this is uh, part of the dry sump system. One of the other additions we did have to make to the LS3 is we did have to go to a, a steel crank and extend the nose of the crank to actually fit the dual stage pump. Um, other than that, we basically have uh, the rest of the components are similar to the LS3. This engine is produced in Wixom. The engines are hand built similar to the LS7, LS9, uh, individually built and signed by the, uh, by the engine builders.